what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel today we'll be taking a look at venom that's right walmart exclusive celebrating 85 years let's see what we've got going on let's check it out as promised today we'll be taking a look at venom Let's see what we've got going on. All right, we're on the Spider-Man animated series inspired retro card. The best retro card for Marvel Legends. I, look, I don't think that's a controversial opinion. It's just a great looking card, right? You've got the celebrating 85 years logo here. I feel like I recall from the release promo images, etc., that the sticker was going to be down here. Everyone I've seen, it's up here. So, interesting call. It's This is such a minor thing, but I do feel like it would make more sense down here. Kind of covering up some stuff. But, anyway, there he is. Venom. Sinister symbiote. Flip it to the back. There's your information there. We've got the little blueprint. You've got that great animated image. There's your blurb. When Spider-Man breaks free from an alien symbiote, it latches on to Daily Bugle reporter Eddie Brock, who becomes the supervillain Venom, seeking revenge on the Web Slinger. All right, there's your important information down at the bottom. Let's get him out of the box. Fresh out of the packaging. This, I mean, it's a good-looking Venom, only slightly modified from that three-pack version, which, um, for my money, is the best legends version of venom right if you missed out on that one i feel like this is a, a close contender a nice second to that for me it feels like this is going to be something that draws in the on card collectors those of you specifically collecting this subline of marvel legends uh and people who just missed out on that great venom from the three pack you're still on the omega red buck right so it's got that good body uh you've got some really good looking head sculpts here and an extra set of hands so i don't think you need a whole lot i think this is about what you would probably need for a venom figure right so let's take a closer look moving in closer we can get a good look at this first head sculpt right so this is a slightly modified version of the three pack venom head that had the tongue out I'll have it in a comparison later, but uh, as you can see, just slightly different. The teeth a little bit different, and uh, obviously the color of the tongue being quite different. Still looks really good. As I said, this isn't something that's going to replace that version of Venom in the Legends line, but certainly good for those of you who missed out, or you know, you just like Venom. You, know? you just want to add some more. Body still looks really good. Paint application's really nice. You do get the pearlescent eyes, uh, which I love. I, I really do. And then, uh, yeah, a little shine, shimmer to it. It's just a good-looking figure. For your alternate head, you get this really, really great version, right? Uh, super 90s aesthetic there just looks so damn good one of the plus sides of that three pack venom was you got like the transforming eddie brock head but man this is such a good looking venom head sculpt here just really captures what i like to see out of it so probably i'll, I'll display it with this i don't know I'm, I'm not totally sure but uh you know i got a little symbiote shelf so kind of a couple of different versions of venom to display there for your hands you do get your open set of hands same set we've seen before and you get your set of fists for the articulation i'll go over quickly since we should be familiar with this but uh head will look down to about there so chin's not quite touching the chest and then only up to about there you don't get a lot of back and forth with this neck peg here um, and kind of how high the neck is, but you do get some good wiggle and movement around. You do have your butterflies in there and the arm will go all the way around upper bicep cut double jointed on pins at the elbow. So that's going to make some people a little bit angry, right? We're getting another venom, but, uh, no real updates there. Move it into here. You do get that 
upper diaphragm, which is a great, great way to get some good movement there. And then your ab crunch down at the bottom. No swivel at the hip there. Leg will kick up and out to about there. Back only to about there. And then only out to about there. You do have your upper thigh cut. Double jointed pinned at the knee. Nothing at the calf. And your typical hinge at the ankle. Swivel as well and your hinge at the wrist. For your first comparison here is backed up against the three pack version with the tongue out head. Uh, the only real modification that I can see off the bat is they did remove the tendrils from the trapezoid area on the retro carded version. Um, like I said, the body and everything else for the most part remains the same, color scheme, etc. There's not a lot that could be changed anyway. So really the main thing that you're getting out of this new one is a new head sculpt for the sort of just standard face and then a changed up version of the tongue out head sculpt and here he is backed up against your absorbing man wave venom which does still have one of the cooler head sculpts that we've received and the only one with the green slime and that is something that probably would have elevated this one just that much more right imagine getting this head sculpt since we've already received it to get some additional change to it adding in a lot of that green slime would have been just a, a cherry on top right and finally here he is backed up against your retro card symbiote spider-man just to give you an idea, because I feel like that does make sense for a lot of collectors. You know, it's on the same retro card, same subline. Certainly something that you want to see how it matches up. And uh, there you go. Aesthetically, looks very nice. All right, folks. Well, there you have it. There is your Marvel Legends Spider-Man retro card Walmart exclusive 85th anniversary Venom. Right. A lot going on there in that title, but uh, that's what it is. Cool figure, not one that you need to rush out for if you already have another Venom in your Marvel Legends collection, especially if you have the three-pack version. This is not an upgrade over that three-pack version, the three-pack version still being the superior version of Venom, in my opinion. Now, that's just one man's thought. You do what you want, buy what you want. I'm just delivering the information how I see it, right? This could have been a little bit better. I would have loved to have seen the green painted on this head sculpt here just to elevate it that much more. Other than that, though, I mean, I got pretty much what I wanted. I do love this head sculpt a lot. It really captures my view of Venom, right? So I, I am a fan of that head sculpt. Certainly a figure that's going to be for you retro card collectors, on card collectors, that's something that you're going to really enjoy getting this and not the cell shaded version, right? So I think some of you will certainly be happy about that. For those of you who are still waiting for it, who are looking for it, I do wish you luck in your quest. A lot of people complain about the Target exclusives. Uh, I tend to have a lot more trouble with Walmart ones, but uh, at the end of the day, it is here. So I didn't have that much trouble, I suppose. Anyway, folks, that's the two cents. I hope you got something out of it. I do appreciate you dropping in, checking out the video, and staying this long if you have. You can always find me on any of these socials down here. Most importantly, though, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe below. And until next time, take it easy.